Well, the Worcester Railers finally return home after a season-long eight-game road stretch, and it's the final three games of the regular season, beginning tonight at 7.05 p.m. as the Railers play host to the Maine Mariners. Cam McGuire here standing alongside Railers General Manager and Head Coach David Cuniff. Well, Cunny, it was uh, certainly a long road trip and certainly great to be back on home ice. Yeah, it certainly was, man. It was a, gr it was a grind, and uh, unfortunately, I think towards the end of it, our play showed. So had no practice time uh, for weeks, so... You know, getting on the ice and having a practice or two uh, the last couple of days has been good. Yeah, getting back obviously on what was that now Sunday, Mon Sunday Monday, Monday night, yeah, Monday night, right. losing it's track of the days exactly. <laughs> but getting back Monday night and obviously not the outcome that you wanted in Newfoundland, but getting to reset on Tuesday with the practice and it seems like the tempo's been high and the, the mood is back uh, back to uh, getting closer to the ceiling. Yeah, getting closer to where we uh, where we were and what we want. Um, I think it's just. When you're traveling and that many games on the road, and you know you, you just become grumpy, unfortunately. And uh, we had some grumpy people up in Newfoundland. I thought our games got better as the weekend went. You know, we didn't set the bar very high on Friday, um, but Saturday we had a better effort. And then on Sunday, I thought we probably deserved a better fate. But that's when you're not winning games. That's kind of what happens. You you push through. You probably deserve a better fate, but you don't get it. And you have to continue to push through so you get the results you need. If you don't. You feel sorry for yourself. It's just going to you stay in that hole. Yeah, Sunday was certainly the better game of the three. Obviously, a lot of chances just getting the one goal. Uh, looking at the goal scoring, what's it going to take to get back to that premium that you guys were at? Because this is a club that a couple of weeks ago was really fine in the back of the net. Yeah, you know, I think we've had a lot of turnover, and uh, and that's, uh, you know, I'm kind of to blame for that. But, uh, you know, I, I think each game that we've been together, we've gotten better with our breakouts. And I always say that, you know, offense starts at our goal line. So I think the support on our breakouts and, you know, getting bumps, you know, our forwards don't bump their forecheck. So then our, our D are under duress. And then if our D are under duress, they don't have the time to make the clean breakout. If they don't make the clean breakout, our forwards don't get the offense. So the forwards have to be willing to help uh, start the offense by getting bumps and then working to support it. And then if we do that, we should be uh, better transitioning. Getting some fresh faces back in the lineup here, that's going to be huge. Obviously, Miles McGurdy back on the blue line and Liam Coughlin back up front. Those were two guys that have been here uh, kind of since day one, and they've played huge impacts on this team. And certainly they were missed when they were out, and it's going to be great to see them back on the ice 100%, tonight. Yeah, 100%. Well, you know, we call that group kind of you know, basically our core group. They've been here from the beginning since training camp, and they've been through the thick and the thin of things. And, uh, you know, it's it's when you take – you know, two of those guys that you're talking about, a, a puck transporter in Coughlin, who's, you know, supports the play so well on our breakouts, like I was talking about. And there's a big body down low to end a play. You know, he plays power play PK for us. He's such an important piece. Um, he might not be the flashiest guy, but he's the most, you know, one of the most effective guys. And then the same thing with Gertz on the back end, just, you know, steady. You know what you're going to get from him. He goes over, he defends so well. He's a great PK guy. Uh, we, we definitely miss both those guys. And obviously getting Ken Appleby back is huge as well. We'll see him in between the pipes tonight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, for what Ellie did for us up in Newfoundland playing three games, uh, Herculean effort, you know, I, I've said it before, but, uh, you know, it's asking a lot of our goalies and especially at the end of that eight-game road trip and the end of, you know, 12 and whatever it was or, you know, 12, what's that, 15 and, you know, whatever number of games it was. Uh, it just, you know, so I think we're getting the group back together again that is our core group that uh, has been here, kind of knows the way we want to play. We added so many new players to our group, and even today in power play and offensive zone cycles, they don't know it, you know. So it's not their fault. It's just we have great hockey players that just don't know the way we all want to play. So we've been a little bit disconnected. So I expect us to start to uh, tighten things up both offensively and defensively. And lastly here, your biggest key to getting back in the win column tonight? I think against Maine, we have to really slow that. They're a fast team, uh, and they come through the neutral zone really good. So I think, you know, getting bumps in the offensive zone, we have to slow them up. We have to slow up their neutral zone rushes, uh, and that's getting bumps. And then, you know, basically, let's just say being physical, because in the offensive zone or our D zone, we have to get bumps and box out. They do a great job going to the net, keeping things simple, uh, but getting the puck low to high, shooting with people, going to the net so we have to have early box outs well should be a good one tonight railers and mariners wrapping up their season series connie as always thank you for the time and have some fun tonight thanks Ken.